words, five aspects of our corporate relationship with Christ. Body, bride, army, stone, and kingdom. Everything depends now on the body being built up, it's being built up in Christ as life in every way and growing to maturity. The growth of the body and the building up of the body will also be the process of the bride preparing herself. Because the body built up, the body grown to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, a full-grown man, the existence, the reality of such a body in the local churches now is an indicator that the bride has made herself ready. Then just before the last three and a half years, the Lord will come and rapture his bride. So the body becomes the bride. Three and a half years later, the Lord returns. He comes to the earth, the Armageddon. And now the bride is the army dealing with the enemy. And then Christ, with his bridal army, becomes the corporate stone to strike the toes of the human image and abolish human government, then that stone becomes the mountain filling the whole earth. Within a period of about three and a half years, the Lord will move in turning the age from body to bride. Once he has the bride, he knows he also has the army, the stone, and the reality of the kingdom, which will be the mountain, the kingdom, filling the whole earth. Now, a little more, I believe, we can see the importance of knowing that the bride, the counterpart of Christ, is the issue of the completion of God's New Testament economy. The Lord's recovery is for the preparation of the bride. We are all in a particular earth-wide, worldwide situation. On a human level, we're suffering with everyone else. Some suffering in a very heartbreaking way. But here we are. And the world situation is closely connected to the Lord's present move in his recovery. And what is on his heart is his bride, his counterpart. So we need to consider in the weeks that allow us through Holy Word for Morning Revival to consider these matters. And they should become part of our personal seeking and prayer Lord, grow in me. Develop my faith and love. Mature me in every way. Do this for the bride. Lord, build me up with all the other saints that are seeking you in this way to be your corporate expression, the bride. Lord, guide me to develop, to produce a wedding garment to satisfy you. Beautify us. Train us to be an army. All these five matters, saints, <coughs> are matters for us to experience little by little, day by day. I assure you, this is a vision. To some extent, your brother endeavoring to serve you here with this word is under a vision but it's not only a vision 
this must become increasingly our experience so that we will be invited to the wedding dinner of the Lamb and we will rejoice to hear the proclamation of Revelation 19.7 Rejoice and exult for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his wife has made herself ready. She made herself ready, not by self-effort, but by cooperating with and responding to the triune God in Christ as the Spirit, operating in her in all these five ways. I do believe we're nearing the consummation of the age. Perhaps this present world situation could be a kind of warning from the sovereign God to the whole earth. Wake up. Repent. Things are about to change radically. The time matter we leave to the Lord, but we should have the sense we're nearing the consummation of the age. By the Lord's grace, by his heavenly intercession, by his heavenly ministry, by the power of his resurrection life, by his shepherding, by the bountiful supply of grace, through the life flowing in the body of Christ, let's be among those who are preparing the bride to come, then we could perhaps sing together a stanza from that hymn 1314. Oh, what an hour sweet when bride and bridegroom meet.